In this video, we will be discussing the Citation XL Series pre-cooler and temperature control systems and some common troubleshooting procedures for them. A common cause of temperature control issues can be improperly operating engine bleed air pre-coolers. The temperature of the bleed air exiting the pre-coolers is vital to the operation of the environmental and NII systems. A pre-cooler that is stuck closed can prevent proper cooling of the bleed air, causing environmental and anti-ice overheat issues. A pre-cooler that is stuck open can overcool the bleed air, and as a result, the environmental system cannot properly heat the cabin or cockpit and cause reduced anti-ice function. The pre-cooler system on units 5001 through 5500 utilize a ram air system to force air across the pre-cooler when the aircraft is in flight and engine bypass air for ground operations. Units 5501 and on deleted the ram air portion of the pre-cooler and rely entirely on engine bypass air for bleed air cooling. In both systems, temperature control sensors located inside the tail cone directly downstream of the pre-coolers control the amount of cooling air allowed across the pre-cooler to control the bleed air temperatures. A way to quickly check for possibly stuck open pre-cooler is with both engines running at idle and AP bleed switch turned off, place the cabin temp controller in full manual hot. To check the left hand pre-cooler, place the bleed source to left hand only and monitor the cabin supply duct temperature on the controller. If the duct temperature cannot reach or struggling to reach 280 degrees, the left hand pre-cooler is likely stuck open. Repeat this procedure with the source in right hand only and monitor the cockpit duct temperature to check the right hand pre-cooler. Pre-cooler rigging and inspection procedures can be found in Chapter 36 of the XL Maintenance Manual. The temperature control unit takes inputs from the cabin zone temperature sensor located just forward of the left hand aft cabin divider. The cockpit zone temperature sensor located above the co-pilot side ledge the cabin and cockpit duct temperature sensors located under the cabin floors and the supply ducts, and the environmental control unit duct temperature sensor in the tail cone downstream of the water separator. It then uses these inputs to control the cabin, cockpit, and environmental control unit outlet temperatures by regulating the cabin and cockpit temperature control valves located under the baggage compartment floor panels, and the environmental control unit temperature control valve located at the outlet of the air cycle machine. The temperature control unit has a built-in diagnostic function and performs a diagnostic self-test on each power-up. There are nine potential error codes that can be used to assist with troubleshooting. These codes and the causes related to each code are located in the Citation XL Maintenance Manual, Chapter 216100. Due to their locations in the cabin and cockpit and the constant flow of air across the zone temperature sensors provided by the built-in fans, the zone sensors are susceptible to dust and lint buildup on the temperature sensors. These should be cleaned periodically to ensure proper temperature inputs to the temperature control unit. The fan operation and direction of flow is also critical to accurate temperature indications. The air should be flowing from the cockpit or cabin area and blowing downward, pulling cabin or cockpit air across the temperature sensors. Some aircraft are equipped with a cabin remote control switch located on the co-pilot's instrument panel that turns the temperature control of the cabin over to the control panel located at the executive seat on the right-hand side of the cabin. This is important to note when troubleshooting cabin temperature control as any attempts to control cabin temperature in the automatic mode from the cockpit with the switch in the remote position will be unsuccessful. The mixer muff assemblies located on the aft side of the aft pressure bulkhead take the cold air from the air cycle machines and mix in engine or APU bleed air to create the desired temperature to feed to the cabin and cockpit. There are two mixers, one for the cabin on the left hand side of the tail cone and one on the right hand side for the cockpit. The temperature control valves for each respective side are located directly upstream of the mixer muffs under the baggage floor panels and are controlled by the temperature control unit based on inputs from the zone temperature sensors in auto mode or manually driven open and closed in the manual mode. The valves are the same part number and can be swapped side to side for troubleshooting purposes. If you have any questions, please contact Team Excel at 316-517-1400 or by email at teamxl at txtav.com.